Lower Makefield Township is once again trying to repeat its ban on alcohol sales. The township is the last dry town in Bucks County. State leaders are trying to get the issue on a ballot this spring. Howard Monroe is in Bucks County with the latest on their repeal efforts. You definitely want to be able to, uh, you know, stay local as much as possible. But drinking local is impossible in Lower Makefield Township. Paul Verde lives there, but he says he's forced to travel to the vault in neighboring Yardley for a pint. Not kind of going out to other towns or heading down to Philadelphia, but kind of investing back into the actual town. You know, I would love to stay local. It's up to the residents of Lower Makefield Township to determine what they want to do. State lawmakers are pushing to get the issue on the ballot in April. In the coming days, they say they'll be going door to door to collect signatures. I think it's a, it's an, uh, ultimately an economic driver for the town, uh, but it's a matter of convenience. State data shows there are over 600 towns in Pennsylvania that are at least partially dry. Lower Makefield Township is the last dry town in Bucks County. Restaurants currently allow customers to bring their own alcohol if they want it. Lifting the ban, I think it will just bring another dynamic to this area. That'll bring a new energy around here. Now, this ban dates back to the 1940s, and they've tried to repeal it at least three times in the past. However, they say a new state law might help them get it done this time. The new state law requires them to gather only 500 signatures to get the issue on the ballot. The last time they tried, they needed 5,200 signatures. Eyewitness News didn't find anyone in town opposed to allowing the sales. It'd be nice to have the option, really. Either way. Why can't you sell liquor? You could bring, I guess you could bring it in, right? But you're not allowed to sell. Oh, I would support that. In Lower Makefield Township, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Now, Frederick Weiss, the chair of the Lower Makefield Township Board of Supervisors, said in a statement he personally supports the change in law, but he said the board has not taken any official position on the matter.